This old man holds his right hand up for everything. He holds it up when he rides his bike and when he buys books. People think he's imitating Mr. Tree, but it's actually him. He heard a kid say he was bullied by the older kids, so he took the kid to ask for redress, but they didn't take kindly to him. <laughs> He lost his arm when he failed to get the job done. Colleagues at the factory, they always laugh at him behind his back. He's afraid of losing face. He heard from his nephew. A policeman, he's going to the railway tomorrow to catch some coal thieves. He insisted on going along. He thought he'd get credit for being a cop and lose face. But when he arrived at the scene, before he got close to the enemy, I followed the example of the police in the TV series. He exposed himself first. My nephew had no choice but to fire a warning shot, frightening people to run wildly. In the end, not a single coal thief was caught. At this time, the old businessman did not know that he is Conan body. He let himself be scolded by his nephew. When he was leaving, he kicked his nephew in the back, unexpectedly loosened the weight rope that had been attached. So the signboard fell down, right in the middle of the railway track. Soon after, one of the hitchhikers stood up to sit at the back of the train, and it turns out. Half an hour later, two of the coal thieves came back for their tools. They found the man on the tracks. They saw that he was unconscious, but they didn't choose to save him. Instead, they searched for money. What is even more unexpected is that the two men rummaged around and found a gun. It turns out, the man who fell down and his companion on the train were smuggled in from abroad, a criminal gang. They were going to a place called Old Demon Hill to do business. The four people on the train arrived at the station only to find out that they were missing a companion, but the job was urgent, so they robbed a nearby lorry. And when they reached the paraffin and set it on fire, coincidentally, the owner of the lorry was one of Shang's pupils. He came from the city to visit him, but he waited from afternoon to evening without seeing him. But he got bad news from the police. <laughs> the fortune teller was just a casual intro. The old merchant was so excited that he paid the money. He even wanted to go home to get more, because his bad luck these days can't be described as coincidence. Just two days ago, a young man realized he didn't have any money with him after dinner. So he ran out the door. The old businessman rode by and came across this scene. He heard the boss's wife shouting, catch the thief. Without saying a word, he rammed his bike into the wall, but he accidentally hit the wall. The melon in his hand flew out. It landed right under the boy's feet, successfully slipped and fell on him. This sudden feat made the old merchant very happy. He immediately persuaded his boss's wife to come to the factory at 2.30 the next day to deliver the banner. Then he went to the vet's shop and hired a drum band. He wanted to show off his bravery at the factory. But when the boss's wife arrived the next day, when the boss's wife arrived the next day, she met someone spying on the female workers in the factory. The whole security department was mobilized. No one was allowed in or out of the gate. He had no choice but to take the banner himself. He showed it to his colleagues in the security department, but the leader only gave him a reply. <laughs> But that was nothing. The next day, Lao Shang wanted to clean the leader's table. He ended up wiping away his son's phone number. He lost his son's phone number on the table. He was scolded by the boss again. Old Shang thought he was backed into a corner, but he didn't know that the people he'd been in contact with were even worse. The young man who fell down from the previous meal was knocked silly. He saw a radish on the street. He picked it up and ate it, and he still didn't pay. And the guy's name is Lao Si. He is also a member of the criminal gang. While he was walking around foolishly, the boss of the gang, seeing that Lao Si did not come back. So he sent Lao Sen out to look for someone. While he was looking for someone, he happened to pass by the factory. He heard laughing and joking in the women's bathhouse. So he climbed over the wall and peeped in. When he was discovered, he slipped away, but his face was clearly seen by the female workers. They even drew a portrait of him. Of course, 
The old merchant didn't know about these people's relationship. He's not doing his job at the factory. He just wants to be taken away by the police because he accidentally passed by a game hall the other day. Although there was a notice on the door that it was closed for rectification, but the smell inside was very strange. Plus there was a red liquid on the door. So he called the police. When he opened the door, the source of the odor was a corpse. He was always looked down upon in the factory. So he told everyone in the factory. He claimed that he had made a great achievement. He was like a black earth detective. He hoped the police would come and question him to make him look good in front of his colleagues. The police did come. Old Shang seized the opportunity. He greeted everyone he could. He made a show of himself in front of the police. <laughs> The old merchant was very satisfied with his performance, but he doesn't know it yet. Recently, one of his feats has driven a criminal gang, has driven a criminal gang to the brink of extinction. This gang is smuggled in from overseas. They wanted a quick fix, but there were always accidents. First, while traveling on a train, Lao Wu was sitting at the back of the train. He was swept off the train by a pole that was accidentally placed on the tracks. Swept down, not only did he not know whether he was alive or dead, he also took the gun and the gang's money with him. Then there was Old Four, because he had no money. He ate a meal. The result of the old merchant's righteousness, he fell and became a fool. And the boss and the second in order to have money to eat. They went to a game hall to rob money. When they were leaving, Someone saw their faces, so they killed them. In the end, the old businessman found out. All these incidents, the police quickly sorted them out into a line. And now Lao Shang is investigating Lao San's peeping into the women's bathhouse. And based on Lao San's portrait, he found him in front of the dance hall. Seeing Lao San leaving, he quietly, he followed him quietly. But Lao San found out. <laughs> This is the newly released Netflix drama, Li Gong. Although it's about a 90s, although it's about a small man in the 90s, but the plot is based on suspense. For example, what is the criminal gang doing on Old Demon Mountain? What's on the mountain that everyone fears? The old businessman's Conan system. What will happen? These questions have yet to be revealed in the original series. If you like it, you can follow it. I believe Mr. Fan Wei's black humor will surely entertain you.